Yeah, come on in. I mean, this is welcome to my obsession. I just kept seeing all these pictures on the bike path. And I was like, oh, I don't even have a camera with me. And I just started riding my bike with a little, little bag in the front and just pulling out the camera here and there and just kind of just kind of shooting the people going surfing rather than the actual action of it, you know? Those moments are really hard to come by and obviously being a complete outsider to the surf industry is like, and the people, then the local people around here, I'm just like some new Howley guy that showed up and roaming around the camera is like, fucking get out of here, you know what I mean? How's it going? Looking at that setup we got. Yeah. Well, looking at your setup right here. <laughs> That's a perfect, perfect, perfect yeah. spot to chill right there. Yeah. Oh. oh, we're just making pictures. Those are the moments I look for is those beautiful personal moments that, that happen and uh, gaining that trust is always difficult. I mean, I kind of have intentions you know, of like, oh, I'm just gonna go shoot something on the bike path, or there's waves up today, I'm gonna go shoot something with the waves, or both, or whatever. You just kind of, kind of have an intent to go make pictures, but you don't really know what you come across before, before it's in front of your eyes. It's like, yes, that's what I was looking for. That's the moment, you know? Get it! Shooting skateboarding over the years is kind of where my photography stems from and, and traveling. You know, I started traveling in 2000s for skating and then I was going to all these amazing places. I was like, oh, I need to remember this somehow. So I just started having a pretty excessive camera hobby and just started acquiring different cameras and just shooting my buddies and shooting, learning how to shoot skate action and just documenting my travels. And that's kind of how I got thrown into photography. I had quite a few, um, quite a few injuries throughout my career. So every time I was hurt and I was out for six months, nine months, or whatever, it's like by the time I was low well enough to be able to walk, I would just pick up a camera and just make pictures. You know, I would just be like, oh, I gotta get back in the van. I gotta be hang with the boys. You know, and uh, so, so every every town time I had, I would just start doing photography, and and eventually it kind of turned into a job, and then. Uh, then I got bit by the surf bug later on in life, and then I just threw the whole city life away. I just put everything in a container and moved to Hawaii. I was like, oh, here we are. <laughs> Start over again. Now I'm, now I'm shooting a complete different world that I didn't know anything about, you know? So it's been, a, it's been an interesting process. It's kind of nice to be right in the beginning of something, you know? There's so much to learn. It's, it's, uh, these guys are such maniacs. They just love to toy with the dangers of Mother Earth, so I don't know. I'm intrigued by it. Maybe a little envious, too. It's like, I, I just, I just want to be, I just want to be a pipe charger when I grow up. Oh, too much art. Might have gone too blurry. Oh shit. The dangers, the dangers of arting. Just completely blowing the shot. Ooh, I get a shot of you, bro. <laughs> yes, Thinking that. Wow. Wow, that was. Is that Mikey Bruno? Maybe. That looked mental. North Shore is just such a melting pot, you know? There's surfing, skating. 
I mean, skateboarding is a full byproduct of surfing. I'm just trying to get back to the roots, just to where, where it all started. You know, I started skateboarding. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go backwards into the beginning of it all. There's, there's a few more pictures to be made, you know? All right, see you later. Have a good one.